All right, all right, shalom, shalom. Uh, first and foremost, as always, call Yamla, Allah Kayana, wa Yahaw, Bashim, Yashab, Hasham, Hawa Kakodash. Double honor to our elders, apostle of GMS, whole world, and peace and blessings to the hopefully like out there pushing this gospel, this doctrine of Yahaw, Bashim, Yahaw, Shah, in righteousness, in this everyday, in truth, and also shalom, a war broke a thumb. Peace and blessings to the brethren and a few sisters that may be tuning and listen, learning, studying under the vibration of Yahaw Bashim Yosha Bahasham Hawakadash. Yahaw, that's the Hebrew name of whom the world ignorant to call God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahaw means he is, he to be, he exists. The being that existed before time, also known as the Ancient of Days, in Yahaw Shachamashiach, that's the Hebrew name of his beloved son. Whom the world ignorant to call Jesus Christ, Yahweh means he who saved, he who delivered, the savior of the elect of the nation Israel, which also called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, West Indians, and Haitians, and according to the Bible, were God chosen people, Bakasham, Baka, which means in the Sham name, were called Spirit Kadash, surely in the name of the Holy Spirit, which Allah also be able to understand this truth. This was in the Paleo Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, the Lashon Kadash, the holy tongue, the language that Yahweh Shai spoke to Saul, which became Paul on his way to Damascus, the language of the heavens. And once again, to what Yahweh Shai Shai for allowing us to be able to understand this truth. Um, I want to do a lesson very quick. And, um, and uh, the subject of this lesson is uh, you got to be a visionary. To be in this truth, right? You gotta be a visionary to be in this truth. Because um, when you look at the the current condition of our people worldwide, man, we are despised, we're rejected. You know, we are on such low vibration. It's uh, it's uh, it's it's crazy. It's uh, what's the word, man? I I can't even find a word to describe it because like um, to to for us to know that the Lord Yahweh Shimshai is about to raise us up to be the next rulers of the world to come man. Hey, that's that's mercy. That's and again to what Yahweh Shimshai for opening your eyes to see these things. The vast majority of our people they can see it. They think that this devil is so Edom, the self proclaimed white man, is going to be in power forever. That's exactly why the or people lack like, I mean they like they like vision, they like wisdom. They think that Esau came into power by his by his own, you know. But really the Lord Yahweh Shimsha is the one that raised them up to be over us, man. So I so just like the Lord Yahweh Shimsha rose them up to be over us, the same thing is gonna do to us, man. It's gonna uh, rose us up to be over them. And there's nothing they can do about it because uh the Lord who live in the kingdom of men. Matter of fact, let's put that real quick, man. Gotta, I didn't, ha I didn't have anything written down, so just gonna go to the spirit. But it's on Daniel eight, um, four verse seventeen. Daniel four verse seventeen. Um, Daniel four verse seventeen. Um, Daniel four verse uh, verse seventeen. Like I said before, I didn't have anything written down, so. Go on to the spirit son then you four verse seven sin and he reads on this matter is by the decree of the watcher and the word of the whole and in the domain by the word of the holy ones you know the watchers are who are the prophets man you know this matter you know uh uh matter matter of fact let's look at the word matter very quick man you know um uh it's, um, matter. This is um, uh, this command, this work, man. The, the, the that's a decree, man. The report, you know. Um, the scripture said in Isaiah, who had believed our report, man. You know, only the the whole member of the elect, you know, uh, truly believed the report of Yahweh Hashem Shai that the Lord's gonna the Lord gonna raise us up to be over these devils, man. Even even in our low condition, this matter, this report, this decree. Is by the demand of the watchers, you know, the Lord sent us in, into the highways and, and byways to give up, to give our people warning to let them know, but they, they don't, they don't believe in this, in this decree. They don't believe in this report. 
in the domain by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know the living is who the people man that the living may know that the most high will live in the kingdom of men so the lord yahweh is the one that raised these devils up to be over us man just like he raised raised them up to be over us as the same was about to lift us up to be over them you know because uh the story of the bible is a is a movie man is 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 a is a, a movie playing out as you speak you know and the two main characters are who Esau and jacob everybody else are like extra man it says uh, that the most i will live in the kingdom of men and give it to whosoever is whomsoever you will and set up over it the base of men and that's like what it is the base of men is who are the edomites the scripture says in job the 30th chapter they were the children of fall children of base men so right now the lord rose rose them not to rose them up to be over us and um very soon he's about to lift up uh, lift up lift up us to be over them man that's the story of Lazarus and Richmond man right now when Esau is heaven but very soon uh Esau is gonna be in hell it's gonna be in a low condition and we're gonna be in the heavens we're gonna be at the top we're gonna be walling we're gonna be the one ruling over the whole earth in righteousness with Yahweh Shai being joint air with Yahweh Shai uh this is a uh, matter of fact let's get uh Amos 3 verse 7 Amos 3 verse 7 <coughs> Amos 3 verse 7. Let's get that real quick. Amos 3 verse 7. And it says, uh, Matter of fact, I'm also in verse 6, right? Amos 3 verse 6. Shall a trumpet blown in the city and the people not be afraid? You know, so you people you ought to be afraid by now. You know, because uh, the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai have the prophets and all over the world, man. Uh, proclaiming the way of Yahweh Shai, proclaiming the king is on his way, man. Yahweh Shai is coming, you know. But the people are not afraid because uh, they have, they ha they have, they don't, they don't, they don't have any fear of the Lord Yahweh Shim Shai because uh, they have been taught false doctrine by uh, 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 false doctrine about Yahweh Shim Shai. These are churches that these churches pretty much uh, pacify you. They they tell you that oh. The Lord is a pushover. You can do what you want. There is no consequences for your action. And that's exactly why the people are not afraid, man. Uh, Amos 3 verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it? So the Lord, Yehovah, Shimshai, can't show both sides. The good and the bad. In Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 54. I have formed the light and created darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord Yahweh Shimshai, do all these things. So the Lord Yahweh Shimshai is responsible for everything that you see in the world, the good and the bad. The scripture says in Matthew that the sp a spell don't fall from the ground without the authorization of Yahweh Shimshai. So the Lord controls scenarios, uh, uh, decision, your decision, your 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 your, your last breath is controlled by Yahweh Shimshai. Everything that you or uh, you can think of. That you see, that you can't see, it control, it's controlled, are controlled by Yahweh Shemeshah, man. You know? Uh, verse 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh Shemeshah will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And that's exactly what it is. That's a secret, man. For us to know that even in our low condition, we're going to be willing. Man, that's, that's, uh, that's comfort, man. You know? Because we know, you know, even though we're going to hell right now, but it's that's the end of it. That's gonna that's gonna be the great finale. And before Yahweh Shai comes, this is our last captivity. This is our last captivity, man. You know we only gonna go through this thing once, man. The scripture says affliction shall not rise a second time. These devils they're not gonna believe. They're not gonna be ruling over us forever, man. And that's exactly what our people can't see, man. They can't see that. You know they can't see that because they don't have the vision. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Um. Uh, Proverb twenty nine verse eighteen. Um, Proverbs twenty Proverbs twenty nine verse eighteen. Proverbs twenty nine verse eighteen. Let's highlight this real quick. Uh, Proverbs twenty nine verse eighteen. Where there is no vision, the people perish, and that's exactly what it is. Our people, the vast majority, the Lord take the vision away from them. They can see. 
they can't see what's coming. They they are they are blind, man. They are blind. You know, Yahusha says, if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. You know, they can see what's coming. They lack vision. They they like uh, understanding. They like a uh, uh, wisdom. Matter of fact, let's look at the uh, vision real quick, right? A vision, you know, before the prophets was known as prophet, they were known as what? The seer, the visionary, right? A vision, oracle, prophecy, divine communications, you know? Vision as title in the book of prophecy. So yeah, that's exactly what it is when they, they, they like this uh, ability to see uh, things, to see things that's gonna come to pass, man, before they actually arrive. Uh, the faculty or state of being the fac the faculty or state of being able to see you know the ability second definition the ability to think about to think about or plan the future with imagination and that's exactly what it is that's what they like man and again to what you about Shemeshire for allowing us to be able to understand this uh this his uh this truth man you know the uh, the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom yeah that's beautiful man uh what's the definition an experience of seeing someone or something in a dream or train so that's talking about the holy spirit you know some some brothers have dream like yakalam you know that brother has heavy dreams man you know yakalam you know that's his that's 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 his uh, name dreamer you know uh that's exactly what it is what does the vision the people perish man and that's exactly what it is man they don't have they don't have uh uh the ability to think about or plan the future with imaginations they think that this devil is so edom gonna be in power forever they're sadly mistaken man because as you speak the lord yahweh is taking down this devil man <coughs> Um. Uh, it says I'll go back to it. it says, uh, um. Go back to it real quick. Um. Proverbs forty nine, verse eighteen. Where does where does no vision the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. The law is who? The law is believing in Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, believing this gospel, man. That's the that's the true law, man. Because uh. The scripture says uh, our righteousness is as, as as filthy rag. So uh uh Moses told us to obey him or uh, obey his voice, man. That's the that's the law, man. When you're obeying the gospel, when you're obeying Yahweh that's you keeping the law, man. You know, happy you see. We should be happy because you know what's about to take uh you know what's about to take place, man. Matter of fact, let's uh uh let's get real quick. Matthew 13 verse 9. Um, Matthew 13, uh, verse 10, and it says, uh, that's fire. Matthew 13, verse, uh, verse, uh, St. Matthew 13, verse, uh, 10, and it says, uh, and the, dis the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parable? He answered that he is who? Yahweh He answered, Yahweh answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to do the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. And that's exactly what it is. You know, that's uh, that's mercy. That's mercy to the highest level. That the fact that the Lord allows us to be able to retain this truth, to be able to see uh, what's coming, to, to, to have a vision of what's coming, you know, and again, to worry about Shemesha, man, there's a, there is no amount of money. Shit, we, we, we don't have nothing to pay for Yahweh Shemesha. To pay to Yahweh Shemesha for allowing us to, you know, to to understand this truth, man. All we can do is praise Him, you know, uh, uh, um, every day, man. And that's not enough, man. You know, so that's exactly what it is, man. So, like I said before, man, hey, man. Hey, that's a uh, heavy man. And the Lord allow us to be able to to see, man, even in our condition, 
we're gonna be ruling over these devils, man. And our people can see it. And that's what distinguishes us from the vast majority of our people, man. The faith of Yahweh Hashim Shai. You know, so that was a quick lesson. Lord, it was edifying. I want to say, Kaholo Yamla, Allah, Khaina, Wa Yahweh Hashim Shai, Bahashim Hawa Kakadash. Once next time, Shalom.